Hi, Alison Marsden here from Gardening by Design with a quick video tip on deadheading roses. The roses are in full flower at the moment, aren't they fabulous? This one is a modern shrub rose with big blooms on, a very tall rose, about 1.1 metres high already. And although the flowers are far from over, I am going to deadhead this one. Like many plants, they will continue to flower if you don't let the seeds form, in this case you don't let the hips form, that's what the seeds are in. And with roses it's particularly important, whether you're pruning or deadheading, to cut down to a leaf joint or a new shoot. So you can see here I've slid the secateurs down to a leaf and I'm going to snip it off there, pick that off, uh, and you can see that there's no little short end uh, to die back. And this is important for roses because they're particularly susceptible to those little snags dying right back down to the centre of the bush. Check out my box of tricks pruning topic for a full explanation on pruning roses and much else besides. There's more information about how the box of tricks can help you to plan, plant and look after your plot on my Gardening by Design website, where you can also buy topics and sign up for the newsletter. I hope to see you again soon. Happy gardening!